37 weeks and I'm finally ready to start talking about packing my bag to go to the hospital. This is something that typically they recommend you do around 33, 34 weeks. Um, and it's something that I've done two times before this time. And yet, for me, it still kind of feels like I'm doing it for the first time all over. I suddenly don't know what I should be packing. I'm Googling and, and looking up on message boards, my checklist. With my son, I went into labor in the middle of the night. I mean, my water broke. Totally unexpected. I, you know, labor can happen at any time. Let's get down to it. Let's see what I'm going to be bringing. First, let me just say that I tried to pack this bag earlier this weekend, and I started out packing with this size duffel bag, and I thought this was fine until I actually started putting things in it, and it's not gonna fit everything. My husband made fun of me. He's like, where are you going? I'm not saying that everything I'm bringing, I'll necessarily use, but I'm one of those people who just would rather have it than not have it. So I'm breaking out my Snooky duffel bag. And this isn't really a Snooky duffel bag. I mean, but how much more jersey can I get, right? The leopard print. But I love this bag because it's so big inside. It has wheels on it. It's easy to pull around and you just fit everything in it. So the Snooky bag is coming with me to the hospital, whether my husband likes it or not. Let's start with the take me home outfit. My mother, my sister, and I went to the Carter's outlet and we picked up these cute little take me home outfits. I kind of went with gender neutral, but my friend Kate had done this with her baby when she didn't know what she was having. And I thought that was kind of fun, you know, being able to pick out both something really cute for a boy and something really cute for a girl. If it's a girl, I'll probably go with the butterflies. And if it's a boy, I'll probably go with the elephant matching hats and matching receiving blankets. Also, I have to remember to pack the receipts for the Take Me Home outfit because my mother is going to return, whichever one we don't need, and go get some, you know, more gender-specific clothes. For pajamas, I'm going to be using this ruffle dress from Bella Boom Boom. It's really cute to just lounge around the house and lounge around in the hospital, you know, and, and kind of look like you dressed up and, and made a little bit of an effort. You know, because when you're in the hospital, I mean, you never know how it's gonna go. I'm also going to be bringing this really soft Bella Boom Boom robe to go over my pajamas, um, just in case it gets a little bit chilly. Um, it's always good to have a robe. Everybody says have a robe. I've used the robe both times that I was in the hospital, so I'm going to be packing that. My feet are always cold. I have to have warm fuzzy socks when I'm in the hospital. In they go. A comfortable bra. This is the Bravado Embrace Bra, and it's great for nursing because it has these easy access latches right here. So it's perfect for nursing. I personally don't think that I'm going to be nursing this time, um, but it's still a really comfortable bra. So I'm gonna pack this one, and I'm also gonna try and get in time the Bella Boom Boom Sleep Bra. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time because I am kind of cutting it close, but that's the plan. Underwear. So I've packed several pair of my maternity underwear to bring with me to the hospital also, but honestly, for what I've found in the past are those mesh underwear, especially with the C-section, are just the most comfortable pair. And I usually try to stock up on them and actually bring some home. This time around, I am bringing some that I've never tried before. I saw them at a show and it sounded like a really great product, so I'm gonna give it a try. My mother-in-law got it for my birthday. Um, it is the Belly Bandit, and basically it's supposed to help with, you know, C-section healing um, and kind of protecting the C-section incision area. It's also supposed to help with losing inches faster, which, let's be honest, is always an added bonus, right? Toiletries. Now this one gets a little bit tricky because there are things that I'm still using every day that I can't necessarily pack. So I have an, a running list going of things that I need to remember to bring the day of because I'm going to be using it probably right up to the last second. But here are some things that I do have packed. Facial wipes. I use these every day to take my makeup off. In case I can't get out of bed right away to wash my face, this is a great way, I think, to kind of, you know, just make your face feel fresh. So this one's from Olay. I usually use the Neutrogena one. I think, actually, the Neutrogena one comes five more to the package. But um, these are great. They smell great also. Lotion. Can't forget my contact lenses and my contact lens case. 
I'm not allowed to have them in while I'm having my C-section, so I have to remember to bring them. Also have to remember my glasses, which, you know, I actually, they're right over there. Um, but they're on my list. I am bringing my Dove body wash and my Lupa, toothbrushes and toothpaste, deodorants, and my shampoo. And then also I am bringing a little bit more, some, you know, more cosmetic-y type stuff. My EOS lip balm. I love my EOS lip balm, and I'm not getting paid to say that like Kim Kardashian, but it's really, really awesome, and I really love the sweet mints one, so I got myself a little present. Because your lips dry out, and especially like when you're having a C-section, they, they even cut you off ice chips at one point, and it's torture. Like that is the part I'm, I think I'm dreading most. So lip balm will definitely come in handy. I'm not going to be putting on a face full of makeup in the hospital the day after I give birth or even two days after. But you know, you do want to look presentable and it helps you feel better when you look, you feel like you look a little bit more refreshed. So I'm bringing just some basics that'll just give me a little bit of a fresher, more awake look because let's be honest, I'm gonna look like a hot mess. I am bringing my Garnier BB Cream. Just like a simple, this is L'Oreal. This is L'Oreal The One Sweep. And this is the one I use like when I'm going out and stuff, but it's just light color. My mascara, because I never want to live a day without mascara. Again, I don't even know if I'm gonna actually put this stuff on, but I'm hoping to feel good enough to spruce myself up just a little bit. My phone charger, can't forget that. I think this will probably be the thing that I use the most. Also, can't forget the good camera to take even more pictures because I am a photo addict and I will be just taking pictures like crazy. Sibling gifts. James and I thought it would be cute to give the kids a little something from the baby. For Delano, we have this really cute Molly Brown London bean necklace. Super cute bean, pink bean necklace. For Ryan, we got him his Miami Heat jersey that he has been begging everybody for. He's going to flip when he sees this. Blueberry is instantly gonna be his favorite sibling. Gifts for the husband. This is something that I was just talking about today. Guys can be really hard to shop for. Another thing that I'm having a really hard time with is what I would be wearing home from the hospital. Right now, I'm going to kind of pack up and say it's going to be this. Because I'm having a C-section, I feel like I have to wear a dress because I don't want anything touching my incision area. So I picked up this really cute shirt dress from Motherhood. It was on clearance for only $30. It's lightweight, it's loose, it's comfortable. Um, and I wanted to wear it with boots. And so far, everybody I've showed this dress on with boots, I think it looks adorable. Everybody else is like, you can't wear that. So now I don't know. Now I'm like, do I just wear it anyway? Who cares? Or do I go search for something else? Also on the list of things that I'm still using, but I have to remember to bring, is a pillow. I want to bring my pillow that I use all the time. So that's it. There you have it. My bag is packed. I'm ready to have this baby. My husband doesn't have to panic anymore that we're not ready. Um, I think that we pretty much have everything set. We just got to wait for this baby now.